hello from slide nerd and hello from weaves what's up folks in this vid i'm going to talk about two other methods of creating text right that is string buffer and string builder now if you're a beginner in java you probably saw this somewhere and you wonder what the hell it means i'm gonna get inside that now first let's talk about what a string buffer is a string buffer is an object that can be modified so my question to you guys is can a string be modified no you cannot it will look like it is getting modified but remember every time you do something it's gonna give you a new object like for example there's uh, something in small uh, letter all right something like hi and you change it to full caps lock right that's gonna give you a new object because you're modifying it but in string buffer that's not the case it gives you the same object it modifies it now why would you need that remember you're making a new object every time you modify it that's a waste of memory right what about the old object what happens to it that's additional memory so here whenever you have some piece of text that needs to be modified again and again like say your word document or something or like that you can use your string buffer all right so you make a string buffer by saying string buffer sb is new string buffer now this is one of the default constructors you probably wonder where is the text in this of course there is no text inside this is an empty string buffer there is nothing inside it's a plain string all right so here how this works internally is you have a character array inside your jvm of size 16 when you write this statement saying string buffer sb is new string buffer so here you can create a string buffer from a string like this you first create the string by saying string s1 is hello all right then you make the string buffer from the string by passing the string s1 over here right inside the string buffer constructor now if you don't know what a constructor is don't worry too much i'm going to talk about classes later but for now this you need to remember that you can create a string buffer from a string like this all right so here there's another point to be noted when your capacity exceeds your new capacity is going to be your old capacity plus two now what does that mean remember i told you the character array is of size 16 so if you have a big piece of text here like hello a b c d e f all the way up to z all right that's going to exceed 16 so in that case your new capacity will be your old capacity whatever it was that is 16 or whatever into 2 plus 2 this is done by your jvm you don't have to remember this it doesn't matter i just told you so that your general knowledge is good on this one all right so let's go ahead so now we talk about a string builder the string builder is again another piece of text or string you can say which can be modified all right it's the same as string buffer let me tell you it's the same there's no difference string builder sb is new string builder the same thing character array of size 16 the same thing string s1 is hello string builder sb is new string builder from s1 the same thing which you saw in the last slide capacity exceeds new capacity is over to 2 plus 2 the same thing now you ask me the question now what the hell do you have a string builder for right you probably asked me this question now it's about threading all right this is all about multi-threading you probably heard the word multi-threading right multi multi-threading means running several things at the same time now let me exactly tell you what's the difference now here it says string builder is not thread safe so first when you if you're a beginner you look at this word thread safe and you're wondering what the hell it means let me give you a nice example for this let's say there are five friends that is you and four of your friends all right now all of you are sharing the same bottle of beer so each guy gets a turn right like you first drink then you give the bottle to your friend then he drinks and he gives it to her friend and she drinks so on right but what happens is like this you first three guys finish drinking the, the fourth person actually spits inside the bottle all right now this is ridiculous i know this sounds psychopathic but let's say your fourth friend actually spits inside the bottle so is the fifth person gonna drink that of course not unless i don't know what is wrong with that person of course he's not gonna drink that so that is called not being thread safe all right the person spat and nobody could drank it that is being not thread safe so i'm going to talk about thread safety later when i talk about multi-threading in my course but for now all you need to understand about thread safety is this string builder multiple threads trying to access at the same time they can screw up the data inside so that's not thread safe but string buffer is thread safe that means you have your own bottle of beer your friend has his own bottle of beer and so on in short only one person is allowed data access inside the string buffer at a time it is synchronized i'm going to talk about all this in detail when i talk about threading but for now all you need to understand is string builder you have one beer five friends each one one guy spits inside and you have a string buffer that means everybody has their own bottle so no need to worry so which is faster which is the best remember Remember, when you're having only a single thread, use string builder because the best of the three is string builder. It is the highest and the fastest in terms of performance. I can prove this for you guys. If you want, please leave your comments and I will actually prove that string builder is the best of all the three. Alright. And now string builder is the most efficient as i said now when you have many when you have many threads that is many people trying to screw up at the time you can use a string buffer so again you decide what you want so i hope uh, you guys understood this let me go ahead and net beans and actually show you some working examples so that you guys get familiar with this let's look at this plane flying so here in that means there is nothing just an empty project i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make a string buffer by saying string s1 equals to let's say hi all right and then i'm gonna say string buffer b1 is new string buffer right 
and that's gonna be as you guys can see there are different options over here we can create that from a string by saying string s1 right now i'm gonna also make a string builder over here by saying string builder b2 is new string builder now remember they are both the same there are no differences except for that beer spitting part which i told you guys all right so here that's exactly done so let me actually go and print it for the for you guys there's nothing new in this b1 if you just go and print one of them it's gonna be the same thing right it's gonna be high so here as you got so here what you can do with your string buffer and builder is that you can modify them now when i say modify let's let me actually show you what i mean you can add something to them by saying uh, b1 dot add let's say 10 all right just a plain integer i'm gonna print b1 as you guys if i run this and see now it says high 10 over here so when you try to modify your string object s1 over here you do anything with this it's gonna give you a new object but here when you modify it b1 it's not gonna give you a new object it's gonna use the same object to modify so that 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 what that is what makes b1 that is your string buffer and string builder more efficient compared to your string and remember string builder is the best so i hope you guys understood something out of this vid if you want a demonstration the performance of the three of them you can let me know in comments and i can make a vid on that all right so thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day stay tuned